The very first triangle from the close guard we're gonna look at is when we were able to go and bring our partner down to the ground, controlling that posture. We have the overhook, and then we're controlling the spar lapel. If I'm able to go and fence my knee on the inside, I wanna go and try and check Stefan's elbow, and then I'm gonna bring my hip out so that way I can bring my heel over to the far shoulder. Once I have this, I wanna go and straighten up my arm, controlling his wrist, bring my knee to my chest, throw that leg up and then over top. Once I have this, I wanna control the top of his head, and then I wanna migrate into a perpendicular position with Stefan, controlling this posture, and as well getting that angle. The next triangle choke from the close guard we wanna look at is once again, swimming our hands on the inside, breaking that posture, controlling the head, and then winning that overhook once again. If Stefan keeps on pushing his hand into my chest, I wanna go and find his hand, and then from here, I wanna go and find his knuckles. See, I'm controlling all four fingers. What I wanna try and do from here is I just wanna punch this to his heart. Once I have this, I wanna go, bring my head up, throw my leg up, and then over top, once again, winning that triangle position, controlling the top of the head, and then also winning the angle. I control underneath the knee or underneath the shoulder, and then finish the triangle from that position. We can also go into the triangle choke from a failed Uma Plata. Perhaps we could have the sleeve and then the collar. I'm gonna bring my feet down to the ground and I'm gonna scissor out. Once I have this, maybe I can go punch this arm down and go for that Uma Plata. Because of the fact that Stefan is so big and strong, he's probably gonna posture up, which allows me to bring my leg up and then over controlling the top of the head, and then winning the angle again for the triangle choke. We can also go into the triangle choke from a Chimera position. When you're fighting from the close guard, almost always you're gonna be grip fighting a little bit. Let's just say that I'm able to go and jockey into a two-on-one scenario like this. Once I have this two-on-one position, I'm gonna punch it down to my side pocket and then both of my hands square up. Now I'm able to go and sit up and over my guard and win the Chimera position, fall to the side, and then, because once again, Stefan is so big and strong, I can't finish the Khmer, but it'll allow me to bring my leg up and over top, controlling the posture, and then winning the position, or perpendicular, so I can tap Stefan out from the triangle. Working from spider guard, I have the right to right sleeve, and then I have my left hand to the armpit grip like this. I also have my foot on his bicep and I'm curling my toes. When I feel that Stefan is not controlling my pan leg, I'm gonna elevate up, throw my knee up over his head, control the top of his head, win the far armpit or underneath the knee or to the far hip, and then working into my triangle choke. I can also do the triangle choke from a double sleeve grip from the spider guard. I have my foot on the bicep, I can maybe try to work from here, can't do the sweet butt, I'm lucky enough to be able to go bring my hip up, drop my knee down over his neck, controlling the top of his head, and once again, winning that angle to hit that triangle choke. The triangle choke also works when Stefan is standing and he has my collar like he's looking to go and pass my guard, and he's able to go and kick his leg up and then over, and then win a pass like that. Knowing what Stefan wants to do, I want to go and try to prevent that by just having a shallow leg last so I'm bringing my heel up and then over. When I have this and Stefan's head is relatively low, I can bring my knee up and then over his neck and then go for the triangle choke. Fighting from the butterfly guard, a two-on-one is one of my favorite grips. Once I have my right to his right and then my left to his armpit, I'm gonna shoot my hips in, and then I'm gonna sweep Stefan over to the left side, which places his head on the ground, but this affords me a nice big opening to be able to go and enter into my triangle choke. Also from butterfly guard, I can also do a pressing arm bar into the triangle. Meaning that if I control Stefan's neck, I'm going to sweep him over to the one side, but I capture his arm. And I want to try and do a pressing arm bar. If the pressing arm bar doesn't work, that's okay. You can go for a triangle choke on his left arm as well. From half guard, we have our frames as always when we're fighting from our half guard shell. Stefan has his arm almost an extension as he wants to go for my neck. Once he's trying to go for my neck, I'm looking to attack this arm. I'm looking to attack this arm with a pressing arm bar. I'm looking to go and circle my hip to the outside, lifting up my hip. But for whatever reason, the arm bar isn't working. This allows me to go and bring my knee into my chest, throw my leg up over his shoulder, controlling his posture, and then finishing Stefan with that triangle choke. We can also do a triangle choke 
on his underhook side. So from half guard, Stefan is always looking to underhook me and I'm looking to underhook him. However, my overhook, which is generally considered to be inferior, leads us into a triangle choke. What I wanna try and do is I wanna make sure that I maintain distance at the right moment. I'm gonna bring my knee up and then over his shoulder. I'm gonna clamp down on him by lifting up my hip. This will force his hand to the ground and afford me space to bring my leg over his shoulder. And then I go and get a perpendicular angle for my triangle choke. Stefan is passing my guard and he's choosing to pass my guard with an over under position and then he's able to go pike up, move to the center, escape my leg and then win a cross side position. Knowing that I need to work relatively soon and fast. When Stefan has that under over under position, what I want to use is my elbow to be able to go and derive force and then I dump Stefan over this way which allows me to circle my leg up and then over as he turns in to face me. I'm in a triangle position. I control the top of the head, win my perpendicular position, and finish. When we're fighting from cross side, we also have a really cool triangle as well. When we're in cross side, we always like to go and clean the arms off of us. We do not want those frames. So do you see how I'm sliding through, bringing my knee up to his neck, and then trapping his arm onto my torso. What I want to try and do is I want to bring my knee up and over his heart. Almost always you'll see your partner try to push against that knee and thus it'll allow me to go and bring this hand down, throw the leg up and then over and then I just sit like this with my leg over top of his neck. Almost always Stefan will start to kneel up and then as I jettison my leg all the way through, I want to make sure that he can't kneel up so I control his pant and his knee and then as he comes in, this is one of the best ways to control and finish with a triangle choke. Because of the fact that Stephanie cannot posture, which is one of his number one counters and defenses, he cannot posture. This is one of my favorite ways to hit the triangle. You can also do something similar from mount. Note how in mount, we're in a position where we can attack for the armbar. And a lot of people know that. And what I want to try and do is I want to check his hand. What I'm looking for is his hand to go over top of mine. Once his hand goes over top of mine, I'm going to go and pop my knee up and then over his hand as I bring my hand up to the sky. Once I have this position, I'm gonna go spatula underneath his neck, place my hand on the ground. My knee goes to the floor. I wanna go and lift up his shoulder and then note how I'm controlling Stefan with a triangle from mount with only one knee on the ground. This is how you finish the triangle from mount. You do not want to be square. The angle is everything when we're trying to do a triangle. And as well, we always want to go and kill the posture. No how, there's just no posture. Stefan is on his back. Fighting Stefan when I have his back is always a good thing. Proper procedures. We want to go and bring our feet across. And then from here, we want to go and control this far hand. We want to control this far hand with our feet my foot goes over the bicep like this and I punch my foot down to his back pocket. From here, I wanna go for a conventional choke. This is our very first attack, but sometimes it just doesn't work. This is largely born from our partner trying to escape by shooting his hips down south. When this happens, I control his arm. I bring it to my chest by bringing it up. My knee goes over his neck and I drop it all the way down. Note how from here, I am seated. And Stefan, it almost looks like he's about to escape. My knee goes into his neck. From here, I circle my knee over my shin, and then I complete that triangle from this position. It should almost feel as if your trained partner is trying to slide out. Remember with the triangle, it's a choke, and we want to attack the neck, and we do not want any part of the shoulder in with that at all. It is only the neck, and of course her arm is in, but the arm is more cosmetic than anything else. You can also transition into the triangle choke from a failed armbar, from knee on belly. Stefan is pushing onto my knee. This allows me to do a, a 180 armbar, but he's linking his hands together. When this happens, instead of trying to break the armbar, we're gonna transition to a triangle choke. I lean, that's bringing his head up. My knee acts like a pillow. I wanna control his arms. I flex my hamstring. I find my knee and then I squeeze to finish the triangle from the side. Also, I can do a triangle choke from a failed mounted armbar. It's not that it's failing, it doesn't complete 
initially and immediately. So instead of going for an arm bar finish, we're gonna go for a triangle choke finish. I like to control with a Chimera grip, and then I'm gonna to fall to my side. As I fall to my side, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring his hands over top of my knee. When I bring his hands over top of my knee, this creates space for my foot to pummel to the north side of his bicep. I'm now gonna go and I'm gonna straighten out my legs. From here, almost always what happens is the training, our training partner will take the bait and they'll look to posture up like they're trying to escape. When this happens, we control the top of the head and we finish the triangle from the perfect position where there is absolutely no posture on your partner's part. I'm in already a perpendicular position. I wanna control that neck to ensure that he can't escape. And we're looking to go and finish that triangle. Doing a triangle choke from a failed arm bar is one of the best ways to look at a triangle from a different perspective. So with all of these perspectives on how to do a triangle choke, hopefully you'll have a deeper, richer understanding of how the triangle choke works through all the differences. You'll also see all the different similarities and you'll understand that triangle choke is largely about breaking the posture and then about winning the angle irrelevant of how you initially get there.